You know, since Halloween is lingering right around the corner over here, my favorite time of the year, it is fall. And yes, it's going to be Halloween soon. And it's a perfect time to start telling some scary stories. Or at least in this case, I like to tell about my paranormal experiences. I know spirits, ghosts, all these things are so unknown to the man, human mind to comprehend. And I'm just spewing verbal nonsense right now, but I will get to the story in a minute. I'm a person who loves the paranormal. Obviously, I'm into horror movies, and I start to realize I think horror movies and horror games are a lot more scarier than the actual real life kind of like paranormal experiences. Of course, when you watch, you know, ghost hunters and all that stuff, they make it seem more scarier than it is. Yes, being in a dark, cramp old, moldy, rusty space full of mildew. Just catch all that damn germs, I tell you. I am a germaphobe. So I'll probably just die from a, a, a coronary, coronary before any spirit pops out at me saying, hey, I'm here. But, you know, just wanted to say that, you know, I love me a little bit of a scare here and there. And I want to share with you with one of my personal paranormal experiences that I went through. So, as my viewers may know, I am a very much dedicated walker. I walk at least 30 to 40 to an hour a day of just me strolling casually around my neighborhood, just chilling, listening to music. I got my earbuds in. I go outside and I go for that lovely, bright sunshine air walk. I am breathing in nature itself along with the smog that comes from all these like diesel operated vehicles and all this crap that's in the air so it's a mixture of fresh air and deathly toxins that, that are just going into my lungs over here but um okay one day i do go out for a walk it's my usual routine not even noon yet it's probably like 10 30 11 o'clock in the morning at least i go and I start walking, I have my earbuds in. So I have, I walk the same route practically every day. So I just go out my front door, I make a left, I walk down through the neighborhood a little bit and eventually I make a right and it goes onto the basically uh, bicycle track that will kind of like go along this long, uh, main road and everything so a lot of cyclists take this path and a lot of people choose to walk this path but the hour I was walking at there was no one there not a single soul yeah there was here and there cars driving by and everything but you know I was by myself and you know it's a long stretch to get to the other you know uh, entrance to my neighborhood. So I was walking this long stretch, not a soul in sight, barely any cars coming by. I look to my back a little bit because I have my earbuds in and I just listen to music and suddenly I see someone walking behind me. Not It's not like close to me, but a good like, you know, spaced apart i would figure it was like about two yards away i'm gonna say two yards away from me i'm trying to calculate this in my head for you to understand this so this figure was walking only about two yards away from me i didn't really fully look back because i don't like to give the indication that I've spotted someone. So it's kind of like seeing them from the corner of my eye a little bit, but I saw them 
And it was very, this person was very tall, very narrow, wearing all black. And, you know, this was like still pretty hot weather. It, it's still pretty hot here today. It's like going to be up to 80 degrees. And I thought this person pretty dressed up to be out in this type of weather because where I live, it, it gets pretty hot and humid. But it's just like, I was kind of like, huh. You know, I didn't think of it for a second and I just kept walking forward. I just, you know, suddenly I just felt the need, I need to look back again. And I look back, the person's getting a, little, a bit more closer, closer. That, those, that gap is like decreasing. And I started noticing they look very narrow. It looked very odd to me. And and I was like trying to figure out what am I seeing here because the shape of this person was weird and and wearing all black like that, like just all black. And I could barely see their head in a way. But, you know, I'm looking from the corner of my eye. So when I'm hyper aware, aware I can really catch some details. But, you know, this person was really catching up to me in a way. And I kind of, I took my earbud out of my left ear because usually that is my indication. I need to listen for things just in case. And I usually carry my keys with me and just in case, because this person just kind of showed up out of nowhere. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie about that. So I kept walking and here and there, I would like just tilt my head slightly to see in the corner of my eye you know, how far they are. And this person was gaining some momentum, getting close to me. I'm like, obviously they were pretty tall. And, you know, when you're tall, you, you can pretty much widen distance. I'm only like five, five and everything. And so there's only, my stride can only take me so far fast. So this person was picking up close behind me pretty fast. And I just, just got this, uneasy feeling and I just kind of went into my pocket and kind of grabbed my keys and put like the the end of it between my knuckles just in case actually you're not even supposed to do that but yeah I, I kind of had my hands on my keys because I just felt really uneasy about this person coming up so quickly behind me so, and I could see them, like literally, you know, you know, I could see them picking up close to me on, along my left side by the corner of my eye. And suddenly, within a split second, when I turned slightly a little bit more, that person disappeared. And I had to stop for a second. And I went and turned my back. Full, I turned my body fully around. Like I, I, I was like, I was looking all over the place. He was, this person was really close to my shoulder, like really coming up to my shoulder. And suddenly they just disappeared like that. And I just stood there. Not a soul in sight. I even looked more to... The left of me, which, you know, is the forest, but you would have to really jump down this steep hill to get into the woods, to get out of sight. So you can't do that in a split second. So these are all the thoughts that are going in my head while I'm like, just looking around. I'm just kind of shocked. I'm like, cars, some cars are passing by. I don't see anyone in sight and I'm looking at the forest. I'm looking forward and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I knew I saw this person. Like he was, this person was coming up behind me wearing all black, tall, very oddly shaped. I'm like, nah, I can't be seeing things. Am I? I must be crazy. This is this is what I'm telling myself. And I'm like, you know what? Let me continue on this walk.
and I walked and I walked myself back into my neighborhood and that's where I walked the rest of my hour and everything because I was like what the hell just happened I don't know what I witnessed but that person I swear I swear it on my soul I saw that person it was coming so close to me he was just just next to me almost next to me and just disappeared like that into thin air was gone and I was like I must be tripping I must be tripping well I hope you like that story by the way thank you